Yeah, it's a cool, crisp morning. Not like a summer's morning at all, more like a, an autumn morning. So Mrs. Max here, she's right, we haven't quite got there yet. It's still summer, but it, <laughs> look at this. Doesn't feel like it. So we found one of the weakest summers ever. Not to worry, we're out on our walk. Yeah, welcome to the backyard. <laughs> An autumnal morning is beautiful. The sun is just nice and warm and not stinking hot. We're not gonna have a 40 degree day. We may get to 28, 29, 30, somewhere around about there with a cool breeze. It's a very autumn-like day and plenty of green grass, tons of green. Normally, it'd be brown but we've had one of those uh, very mild summers and a lot of rain too. In the last couple of weeks, we've had something like 50 mil, which is a lot for us. And uh, so the downside to all this, is I've got to cut the grass again. I've already just done a little bit through here, run out of fuel. So we're gonna to have to go to the servo and get more fuel for the lawnmower. I've got about, oh, half to three quarters of an acre of grass. We've been, this is the Paspellum and we'll see it in close up and it is one of the worst grasses that you could possibly have in your backyard especially if you're trying to cut the thing because it grows in clumps and really it's not in evidence except when nearly all the other grass dies, dies off and you get this clump and they're just everywhere. And this is the difference after it's been cut you can see, I'll just move over here and you can see a part that I haven't cut yet. You can see how high it grows. And that's only after, uh, I forget how long, it's going to be three, three weeks since I cut the grass. Maybe a month. And it's come up like that. But it does that. And you can see the, the brown bits in between. Get my shadow out of the way. Yeah, so that's what we've done today so far. That's just uh, an hour and a bit. And we've cut a fair bit. Got a little bit to go. Believe it or not, it's getting a bit hot. Yeah, look at the sky. Isn't that glorious? Uh, we've got a glorious blue sky and I've had enough. It's just getting too woofy. I don't know what the temperature is at the minute. Mrs. Mac's been doing a fantastic job in that garden there. There's our pumpkins, pumpies, everything's coming in and uh, just looking good. I know there are other people who've got bigger gardens than us, but I mean, there's only the, there's only the two of us here. Don't know what's in there. We'll find out. But we're looking good. Welcome to my little secluded room. We're going to do a few segments uh, of the vlog actually in here, down here, because it's, it's nice and quiet and no one ever comes down here except maybe on Christmas time when we have people, our kids staying, whatever. So we're down here. Now, uh, the grass is done. And the place looks uh, reasonable again. You know, it's still not a red hot summer. We're, today we're going to get to about 30 degrees, I think. But uh, it seems like gone are the days of 40 degrees and 20 degree nights and 40 degree days and that kind of thing. They will probably come back again. But at the minute, we're just not having them. And uh, I'm okay with that. I really am. I don't, I'm not a big fan of those uh, 40 degree uh, days. 
And then when you go to bed at night, it's like, oh, and it's awful and you can't sleep. I hate that. So we're happy with the summer the way it is. I just wonder whether we'll get a super cold winter. That's to be seen. Welcome to Friday morning. Yeah, it's raining. Have a look outside. It's amazing. It was one of those uncomfortable nights too. It was 30 odd degrees yesterday. And then it started raining about 2 a.m. And guess who forgot to put the bins out? Yeah, so I had to dive out at seven o'clock this morning in my jammies in the rain. Hope the neighbors weren't watching. What a great sight that would have been. Someone should have taken a picture. Hope they didn't. But uh, there we are. So we've had rain and we've just got to live with it now. And here's something that might interest you. Um, we have had the algorithm from uh, YouTube has seems to have grabbed East Side West Side Time to Kill our web series, and it's getting more views. Now this is very interesting because we haven't done East Side West Side for uh, twelve months, I think, roughly twelve months. So maybe uh, we should get together with Lefty and the Don and Trevor and Barry and everybody else and write a few more scenarios for East Side, West Side, Time to Kill and run a few more episodes. I think we should do another season. That would be good. Yeah, look, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell as we we're talking about with the, the algorithm for YouTube. It just might grab hold of us too and we might get some more views on this channel as well. So like, subscribe, hit the bell, really appreciate it. Uh, it's been fun doing this video because we've done it in segments right through the week. Uh, that's not something I haven't really had a chance to do, but we did it this week. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. There hasn't been a lot of stuff, but um, hopefully we'll get some more stuff in the in the coming weeks. By the way, the weekend is fast approaching. I hope you have a terrific weekend. I will catch up with you next week.